Hi and welcome again from Mobile World Congress 2019. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is called MRTV. I'm here with Nicholas from InFlight VR. Yes, hello. Hello, hi, good to meet you. Yeah, good to and, meet you. How's it going? Very well. So, yeah, um, I would like to know a bit more about InFlight VR. I have already heard that you're a company that would help um, other companies to have in-flight entertainment, for example, but uh, with VR glasses. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that, right? That, that is correct. So we're bringing virtual reality into the transportation sector with the main focus of airlines at the moment. But okay. obviously, we're already looking into other verticals such as buses, trains, and so okay. starting yeah. as well. Basically, with our platform, uh, entertainment platform, we're trying to make it possible for a safe VR consumption in a moving vehicle in a broader sense. Um, with limited space and, and basically a customized solution for environments where usually VR consumption wouldn't be that easily possible. Oh, that's, that's really cool and that makes sense. Sometimes I'm in an airplane and I don't have much space, but probably right. if I had VR glasses I would be in my own virtual cinema or something like this. How can I imagine what kind of content are you putting putting uh, onto people's face. Yes, so we have all kinds of different uh, content on the headsets, combining like traditional entertainment. Obviously we have movies and TV shows and a cinema yeah. Exp yeah. like cinema like experience uh, makes sense. But then also what is more exciting for us is really the VR content, mm -hmm. like relaxation content on a beach, guided meditations, or living through concerts in first row or shows. And virtual tourism obviously is very interesting for the airline. You can check out different destinations and such in really 360 um, content. What we make sure is that the music plays in front of you, so to speak. So it can be 360, but we don't really look uh, for content that m promotes you moving a lot. Yeah, that's make uh, much sense. Hence, <laughs> hence, you don't bother your, your neighbors uh, right, in right. the aircraft and so on. Yes, and we manage action and so on. That you okay. don't bother anybody. Yes. That's cool. Yes. So, um, uh, where can I find uh, your content uh, uh, soon? I mean, you're, you're working with the uh, Flixbus, yes. I heard. Or yeah, we have the Flixbus. So, the, the, big, the biggest airline project we have going live at the moment is with Iberia. So okay. we're flying there daily on two flights to New York from Madrid and one to Tel Aviv. Um, looking to expand on, on certain routes, uh, now we're discussing. And yes, we're live on Flixbus, actually in the US. There we are between Los Angeles and Vegas and Phoenix and Vegas. Uh, trying out uh, some routes with the VR headsets actually in, in buses as well. Yes, that's cool. right. So um, how would I have to imagine this? So I fly with uh, Iberia. And then I go to my seat and the, the VR headset is lying there already? Or how does it work? How, how, so, how does it practically work? Yeah, how it works is that in the airline case, actually the cabin crew hands out the VR headsets. So after, we only hand them out in cruise mode. So after start, uh, at some point, they will come with a trolley oh, and then they will offer, yeah. uh, offer you the headset. Nice. Um, in economy, we rent them out. Uh, at the moment, we're looking at this rental case. While in the business class, uh, probably you get it offered. Yeah. All right, cool. So before um, the crew was just giving out some some headphones, and now you get a VR headset instead. That, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's right. pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So um, the content inside is it like that? You have some partnerships probably with content um, providers. And yeah, that, that is correct. So the platform is from us. We also have created some content ourselves, but. To, yeah. to be able to scale, we can't yeah. create 150 games ourselves yeah. or yeah. city tours, so we need to incorporate third-party content. Sure. Obviously, there we have agreements in place to stuff nice and soon to our clients. Um, what we have is a well thought through quality assurance process where okay. we do check every content piece that we put on our platform to make sure it has not too much movement, acceleration, the whole motion right. sickness topic. We make sure that the interaction frame makes sense for our use case. Um, and the quality is high, so we can assure us that the frame rate per second and, and good resolution and mm -hmm. so on. So, um, yeah, and once once the content has passed our, let's say, approval process, right. we put it on our platform and start offering it uh, to our clients. Okay, cool. Very nice. So, um, what is exactly the business model? Where do you, um, like, uh, yeah, um, get the, the, the funds from to operate? I mean, is it like you, make a, you get money from Iberia? to put it there or is it like uh, the rental? Right. Where, do, where do you earn? So, 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 so there are different business models mm -hmm. depending on different clients, They're also premium airlines versus low cost airlines and all of that. Um, generally our business case is licensing our platform content and headsets as a fully licensed price on a monthly basis. Um, they can, yeah, exactly, depending on how many headsets they want, they can, yeah, exactly. Um, there are obviously 
um, business models that take away a little bit of the risk, like airlines are looking into regaining some of their money they invest with us by renting it out, right. uh, okay. leveraging oh, that, that and, and then it could also be just a premium offer for, for business class for free. Right. So it's really up to the okay. airline to decide how exactly they want to tackle it. But generally it's a licensing agreement for right. headsets with, right. a, with, with a certain content package. Okay, that makes sense. So if I was like a, a bus operator and I want to make uh, my VIP seats more exciting, I connect with you and you give me some kind of turnkey solution. Right? You give me uh, the headsets, there's a content on it and I can directly go with it. That's right. It's loose okay. equipment, it's easy to install, it's simple. With In the airline case, we um, help you set up the whole logistics as well. We work with caterers there together who clean, charge and the headsets and bring them on board, off board. So we have a training manual there. We have to find all the procedures uh, and so on. So yeah, we basically offer you a term solution. That's right. Oh, that's, that's amazing. So um, tell me a bit more about the, the device itself. So Echo Stand yes. at Mobile World Congress. So I believe it's going to be Pico headsets. Yes, at the <laughs> moment we have a good collaboration, a good partnership going on with, yes. uh, with Pico. Yeah, right. And those are our go-to uh, headsets at the moment. They fit our use case really well. It's a standalone, no cable. Um, also, what's very important for us in terms of storage, they are very flexible here, which you can put. Like we, we, yeah, we for example, don't want a big fixed thing because we don't fit it in, in a trolley in the drawers. Like we need oh, to right. make them as small as possible to bring as much headsets on board. Right. So yeah, the headset for Pico fits our use case really well, right. and and we have a good partnership with them. Okay. Nice. So. Um, which model is this? The this is the Goblin 2. Okay. Yes. We also already are working with Pro version and now, well, looking into the even newer version which has 4K resolution, yeah, just which, yeah, which is announced very now. Nice. It's very it's nice. It's really nice. So, yeah. So the, the hardware is getting better and better and uh, we have to be excited about cool. this progress, obviously, also. Perfect. Um, could I see the menu or what are you showing here? Yes. No, uh, so so we have we have the, a setup with some sample content on there, which you can try. So. If you put this on, you're probably in an aircraft cabin right now with yeah. with, with some <laughs> menu in front of you. All right. So it's a soft transition into the virtual world. In reality, you're in an aircraft cabin. In virtual reality, you find yourself again. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So, I'm, I'm just the same place. Yes. Exactly. It's just this um, empty now. The, air, air, the cabin. Yeah. The cabin. So on request, we can put a pretty lady next to you. If you want. Yeah, that would be better. <laughs> but my wife wouldn't be too happy. <laughs> So, okay, I see now some videos, Portugal, so probably if yeah, I'm, if I'm so, so flying on, to on, Portugal. On the left you have the categories that you can browse, so we have relaxation, cinema, games, and, and, and so on. Oh yeah, um, oh, on, travel and relaxation, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. You will always find the content pieces then in the middle that you to choose from. On the right side you have your environment, so we're starting ah, in the cabin, okay. I can go but to the beach. obviously you can also browse through our menu on the beach or in space or in mountains or so, whatever it may be. Okay, that's cool. Or even in first class. Oh yeah, right. So you can, <laughs> if I want you, to you get can, to first you, class, you can right. sit in economy but be virtually nice. in, in a business class or first class cabin. Oh, it's very simple. So you don't even need the control, right? Everything yeah. is by gaze, right? So that, I just look at right. it's we, easier we, for people. We try right? to stay away yeah. from controllers because you will lose be them. A, another device that's yeah, you will lose the it. transportation agency where the airline would have to hand out. So another device that can break down, can get stolen, get lost, and so on. So you yeah, have it case based. Cool. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, yes. that's a very well thought through. Yes. Cool. Keep very it as simple as possible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So very well thought out through, I think, the business model. And um, yeah, it's it's very simple to use as well. No, I, I was wondering, for for like buses, for example. Couldn't you somehow make use of the acceleration of the bus and like the, the, the forces? Y yes, uh, I mean, content or that, that, <laughs> that, that would be customized content. Yeah, yeah of course, that would be very yeah, customized. Very customized content, right. but obviously, yeah, you can look into creating something like this. Next on, on the scalability level, it might not be yeah, right. the best solution. Right. So you need to find a solution that fits yeah. kind of with now every kind exactly, of content. Yeah. Now it has to Otherwise, work. you have to create every content piece that's on there, that particular sense. for that the user. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit where our thoughts. Yeah, yeah right, that makes sense. Yes. Cool, very, very interesting concept. You are in Iberia right now. We're in, in Iberia, the, in, yes. You're in Flixbus? We're at Flixbus and we have one or two airlines to announce soon. Okay, okay soon cool. In that the coming sounds months, good. Yes. Perfect yeah. use. So it's, it's, it's starting now. Great. Yeah. No, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, 
if, uh, if, if you are operating any kind of transportation business, and if you want to make the ride a bit more interesting for your customers, then yeah, you can get in touch with the Nicholas, yes. right? And he will Please, do. You. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. And um, um, how to best get in touch with you? Uh, website? Yeah, in, in flight, mine is vr.com. It's okay. our website. We have a contact form there, so that would be pretty simple. Awesome. So just check out in flight minus vr.com if you want to know more about this in flight um, solution. And yeah, thank you so much, Nicholas, yeah, for your thank time. You. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this piece of content from Mobile World Congress. So you see, VR is getting everywhere now. So <laughs> even in, in the airplane, you will be able to get your VR fix thanks to those guys from InFlight VR. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MOTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Cheers.